Hi, it's Julia from Julia Second Company, also Click Branding, also future Julia Elizabeth Hair Design. So I'm in online class today and I have to work on perming, so I thought I can talk to you about following your dreams while I do this. So I am in my 40s and I'm a mom of a teenager and I have been home with her working on my own terms since she was in my ba belly back in 2005 and um, I'm a hustler <laughs> drop a one if you're a hustler too and um, so I'm always just out there doing stuff so that I don't have to go back to a J-O-B right who wants that and um, so I'm all about like creating like a business and a life that you love. I went to school for graphic design because I knew when I was a mom, I actually wanted to be a news anchor. And then I went to a career day at their local community college and I realized like the news people went to work at like two in the morning. I was like, how am I going to be a mom with like, no, I can't, that's not going to work for me. So I went from being a journalist on the school newspaper to laying out the actual paper and I fell in love with design there so I took a bunch of art classes my senior year and my mom drove me to all the schools in Florida because I was just had this in my heart that I just want to move to Florida find a husband move to Florida well I moved to Florida and I found a husband the problem was I found my husband in Pennsylvania a month before I moved to Florida so I called my mom crying every day I need to come home I'm gonna marry him which I did we'll be married 20 years in October and um oh, I'm not making that call so I, like I said, I knew I wanted to be married. I knew I wanted to be a stay, quote unquote, stay at home mom, or like a stay at home maniac, right? And then, um, so I met my goal of like never putting her in daycare. And then when she was three and I was 31, I stumbled among the awesome company 31 Gifts, which is completely amazing. You can follow me at your gifts gal here on Instagram. And, um, that has been like a huge, huge blessing in so many ways, not just financial in my life. But when um, my husband sold his business after almost like 23 years being self-employed, um, we relocated full-time to our cabin, which is where I'm at now, and we sold our big, gigantic 6,000 square foot house. So we downsized a little bit. And then when we were moving, um, I picked up a very 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 part-time job at the local family-run steakhouse because remember working from home for 15 years Julia was deprived of people all I had was the cat so I got this um, job at the local steakhouse and I don't know where I was going with that where was I going with that oh now I know where I was going one of the waitresses there is a teacher at this like town in New York we live like close to the New York state border so I was like oh well I wonder if she like she drives like an hour to go to work there like maybe there's maybe there's like a beauty school okay guys talk about divine timing so we um I started working at the steakhouse in October so I was driving like an hour to work from my old house to up to there and then my husband was still in the, like middle of the final transaction of his business and then um, I moved up to our cabin full-time in November and I started school it was like November 6th so when I searched for a school they had a school and it was starting classes a random Wednesday in November exactly one week like when I was like scheduled to like move permanently to the cabin so I told my husband and I was like oh my gosh like you because the plan was I was going to go when our daughter was in kindergarten and it just never worked out because of his crazy like 60 hour a week schedule so then I was like it just and then in fact where we moved the last business he had a Nissan dealership the last business I literally lived five minutes up the road from the Empire Beauty School and I went there and I wanted to like go there and they're like oh it's like nine to five for nine months and at the, that time I was driving her to private school 
um, like a half hour away to like twice a day. So I was like, well, that's not going to work. I can't like come into this nine to five school thing. It's like having a job and Julia doesn't do a job. So we were there in that house for seven years and I wish I would have like knowing what I know now, I'm like, damn, why didn't I figure out a way to go to school then? But I mean, you're always at the right place at the right time. You're exactly where you need to be when you need to be there. So we moved up here, school started. I literally enrolled like the day before classes started, met some really great people in school. You know, I, I just, I love the people there and, um, learning how like it's an amazing career opportunity for young women who want to have a career, a lucrative career and a flexible career to stay home with kids. So that's like in my future, I want to be a teacher. Um, I teach marketing online to adults, but I would love to be in person with young women or older women like myself going back to school and, um, and help them. So my point is like, are you following like your dreams? Like that was always my dream to like go to learn here and not so much for a career change. Although now that I'm in it, I'm like, Ooh, this is like a fun thing to do for a career. I was like thinking of it more like cooking lessons, right? Like you want to be a better cook. So you, you take like cooking lessons at the community college or something. So I just have always, always loved hair. Always. I've been like dyeing my hair, bleaching my hair since I was like 16. So I'm just fascinated by it. Now I love it because it's creative. I get to like life coach people if they want it while I'm talking to them. And, um, I just wonder like, are you like really following your dreams or are you just like letting life, like I let life get in the way for what? 15 years while I was full-time mommy. Um, so are you letting life get in your way or are you like doing the things that you say you want to do? And like, what's stopping you from just going out and do, and doing the darn thing. Right. So I was like, my husband was like, this is like, we're moving. You've got to pack up this house. Like I was literally started the part-time job, packing the old house, moving to the new house, going to like, it was, it was not so, but like, and my students, we have a thing in our Instagram class. We call it like our crazy pants life. It was just my crazy pants life. And now life is like kind of settling into groove. It's getting like a little bit smoother. So I'm like, well, I'm a life coach. I've got to like walk my talk. And how can I not go to the school? So my husband's like, bad timing. I don't think we should do this. I said, bad timing, like baby number two that we never had because we were waiting for the perfect time. Um, And then I started crying and I was like, I really want to do this. What am I going to do when she goes to college? Like, I don't have more children. I mean, we might like, our goal is to foster and maybe foster to adopt when I do graduate from school in the fall here. So who knows, you know, what'll happen there. But, um, I was like, I'm a life coach. I have to follow my dreams. I have to like, I tell people to go after their dreams. So I'm hoping I'm in like an inspiration to, to somebody like, you're never too old to start something new. You're never too old to change what you do for a living. You're never too old to learn something new. Um, like, this is super fun. Like, I love perming. Like, it's so fun. If you're, like, near me or you do a photo shoot with me and I can drive to you or, like, fly to you whenever this COVID crap is over. I'm, like, not getting in an airplane anytime soon. Um, I can do your hair. I'm supposed to put little papers around here, but... I don't know where they are, so I'm just doing this, but, um, so I just wanted to, like, reflect, like, am I living the life of my dreams, or am I taking steps towards the life of my dreams, or am I just, am I just, like, living to live, right, I mean, I really don't think God designed us to, like, wake up, pay our bills, and die, I think we're all made for more than that, So I just want to inspire you to think about what it is that you want to do, um, that you haven't done. And like, what is like one little thing that you can step, you can take towards doing that thing. Is it maybe like, like me, you want to continue your education in any area of your life, whether it's learning something new for your business or learning. I mean, I took parenting classes, like I've taken classes on everything and, um, there are classes on everything. I just saw a Facebook ad for a class on how to like move to Mexico or something like that. So there's classes on everything. And, um, think about like what you want to learn. You want to learn
learn from me. I got lots of business classes. You can go to juliaslake.com slash learn. But um, I don't know. I'm just, like, not okay with living, like, a life of mediocrity. Like, for instance, if somebody says, like, oh, I want to lose weight. It's just too hard. Yeah, it is freaking hard. And guess what? Like, you can do it. Like, I'm on a plan now where I lose, like, 10 pounds a month, which sounds crazy unless you're actually doing it. And there's science and everything behind it to, like, back it up. Um, so it's, like, now if I hear somebody say that, it's, like, well, don't don't complain that, like, you want to, like, I mean, I complained for so much time, like, and I didn't do anything about it because I, I, I didn't want to. I wanted to eat. I wanted to, to do all the things but still be thin, and that's not how it works. So, do the thing. I think I got to get back to my class. Take inspired action, follow your dreams, get uncomfortable in your life and in your business because as my friend Jeanette Riles says, comfort kills, comfort kills. So you don't want to stay comfortable in your life and your business. You always want to be stretching and growing and learning and, and having new um, experiences. So I hope you found what I had to say and I'm trying to practice talking and doing hair right because when you go to your hairdresser I don't know I like to like talk I don't like to just sit there it's like so boring so I try to like get to know my um my clients right now I have practice clients so I think it's back to class I go I'll see you in the next video bye